actually. I think I think Torb actually is quite a dominant hero uh, in the current metagame. That armor is so effective against a lot of the poke damage coming out on the side of the Defiant. But again, Agilities might be unchecked on this Doomfist, although I think this map is going to be more difficult to find value on than Li Jiang Tower. So the Defiant is going to be going up the left side. The Justice not contesting, deciding to rally around their Torbjorn. So they do give up a little bit of choke pressure here, Jay. Yeah, definitely. We'll see if the Defiant are able to explode out of this corner. Surefort teleporting onto the high ground, but immediately poked off. But Agilities displaces everybody. Now, Defiant are in position to cap this point. Defiant with a very good engage. They force Justice off the point. Agilities continuing the harass now. Nope. Justice getting oh. very, very low. This goes on. How long can he sustain? Tuba. Look at Surefort. Justice right now still trying to go back in. Tuba over. Heavy pressure to the right. Hard taken on down, though. Four on four here. Corey builds a very quick multi four. Justice tried to push the Defiant on out, and so far, at least made a decent job of delaying war. Earth Shatter up, stun to the back. Oh, I just want to point out in that fight, Agilities did such a good job demecking Elevote that Elevote able to escape to the high ground off the back of the uppercut and get back in his mech suit. So a free respawn for him. A little bit of cap time. For the Defiant, but this is a map where that first fight is one of your best opportunities to win on offense. Now there should be a significant ultimate advantage for the defenders. That shatter is going to be huge from Roar. They're in a good spot. They only gave up. Especially with the added shield break that Justice had. So, two minutes, 25 seconds left to Defiant. That was a costly attack in terms of time. And you can see this setup strategy with the Doomfist takes a lot of time, so each fight is a big commitment. I can't help but worry, but Defiant aren't going to have much more than two attacks left, so this Defiant one better at least get some ults out of the Engage here with the beat, the Coalescence in the back. Here comes Defiant. They move in. Really Coalescence, they force out the beat. Justice Kellogg responds to turn. Oh, early point forward. Here comes the self destruct over to the top. Not quite able to get with the Justice. Like Justice once more. Push off the point, but there's Roar. Drops the shatter. Puts two to ground. Kareev oh. out immediately, and the Justice taking well advantage of what War opened up. Beautiful shatter from Roar. That added shield break from the Torb really puts so much pressure onto Beast. It's very hard to maintain your shield in those extended fights. And you know Tuba also putting that heavy pressure on the shield. That's kind of the exact opposite of what the Defiant were looking for. They wanted to trade up positively on ults there, but in fact, I think they're even further behind than they were last fight. All you have is the Meteor Strike, which lets Agilities get really aggressive, but who does he pick off? Everybody so survivable, so escapable not here on the Justice, justice side. It's not easy to find a pick off as a Doomfist. The multi -core. They can just be a little bit more aggressive as soon as the Defiant drop down. I think the Justice is going to go straight in. Agilities, this is nearly punch. It's forced back, and the Justice, as predicted, immediately moving in with multi -core. Agilities, looking for anything to back. You can't save Beast. Ends up getting burned right up, and the Justice looking very healthy on the point as Corey just continues to dominate space. Nice little fancy footwork from Corey on the Torb, utilizing the power of that overload. Gives you that extra movement speed. It makes it so difficult for Doofus to connect on his skills. Once again, Defiant very far in the hole on the ultimate side. They will have that Coalescence up first, though. That could be the exact advantage they need, especially Shurkor's Death Blossom here. available. It'd be much Five. harder to Tuba, though, this. striking early Death Blossom, finds Kareem, and the Justice. They can aggro here, Jake, something they did not do all defense long, and it completely catches Defiant off guard. Totally agree. That's just a total surprise play, especially catching the Moira first. That's uh, fake, frankly just a blunder from Kariv. He should never be able to die first to a rush like that. Maybe having his fade on cooldown trying to make it to point. And this is a huge first point hold for the Washington Justice. Just a little bit of progress on point. I really like what they did there at the end. So much so, we just saw it. I want to bring it up again. Jake, we saw the Justice playing so defensive the entire time where that entire time they were deciding to hold on back. And then what you ended up seeing here is that Toronto, not expecting that, they go in going, okay, we've been getting the choke point for free every single time. And then Justice just go, actually, we were fully capable of diving you the entire time. It was really nice heads up play coming in from the Justice. And look, when you want to rebound in a series, that's the sort of stuff that you have to do. 
that's great work too, recognizing the different approach from the Defiant. You know, the Defiant, they had, you know, constantly taking those long setups, wrapping up to high ground, taking one cross, then another cross. And all that takes so much time, but it's important because it's a lot more difficult to be rushed when you're taking that high ground route. Uh, and Justice knew that, you know, they weren't going to go for the rushes uh, given Defiant's approach. But when Defiant takes that aggressive, more greedy approach, trying to come under the Reaper, that's impressive from the Justice. It's an instant reaction. You know, if you wait one second there, if you give a little bit of time, then those attackers can easily slip through another flank. So, uh, heads up play from the Justice, now, ends up netting them a solid the table first here. point hole. All they have to do is simply feast. They only need a little bit of progress here in point A, Jake, and that's going to even up the series. Now we see the Justice getting ready to set up. And they're running the Torb on attack, which is very interesting. So. See the Justice right now, moving up the left-hand side. And meanwhile, the Defiant, not necessarily going to be giving them the high ground for free here. Contesting him all the while. They don't want to let Corey just move on on 7th Earth. But uh, Elva can make his own way here. A little bit of forceful taking of the high ground for the Justice. Yeah, a little bit low. The Defiant, though, they have to give it up. And the Justice, get the other positioning they're looking for. But it comes at a cost. Tuba going a little bit deep. Ends up getting caught. Or long pin the other way. But most crucially for the Defiant, they were able to keep everyone alive. So they don't lose any early pickoffs. Early aggression pays off. And now the Justice find themselves in a deeper hole. Also, if there's a surprise factor that the Torbjorn early on, guess what? It's gone. So they're defined if they're going to have an even better hold where, don't forget, this game is winnable, not just drawable. So That's where you got to start. Yeah, the Torb not working out on that first push, though. It should. Be able to give them those long grind fight advantages, but if the Justice, or sorry, if the Defiant can take these aggressive initiations time after time, it will nullify that advantage. But this time, the Defiant not as prepared as the Justice were to take those aggressive initiations. Although they will challenge on the corner of the high ground, I think this is a good fight for the Washington Justice here, though. This is a good corner. Although Aim God cover the Doom, staying alive. It's a very long flank to take. Roar gonna drop the shatter. Does not get anything. Meanwhile, here comes Jonies dropping on over. Justice in a much rougher position these times. Shattered, but they don't get much off it. In fact, they overcommit. They end up losing the beast, they lose Kellex, and the Justice now might have gotten everything they need. The Defiant in a rough spot. Hopes and dreams here. Thevix is bomb goes to sky, but no, it's not enough. Tubla gets the cleanup, and the beat keeps him alive. The Justice fight on back. We have ourselves an even series. That's the power of making 